us to another episode on SUG12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at section B of the August 2022 Science Paper 1. Let us look at question B2. Figure B2.1 shows an apparatus Elena used to measure the mass of an irregular object. Taking gravity to be 10 newton per kg, what is the weight of the irregular solid? So uh, we know uh, basically this is the irregular solid. Then the reading is basically at 350 grams. So weight is given by mass times gravity. So mass should be in kg. So to convert this in kg is basically 350 divided by 1000 because they are 1000 grams in 1 kg. So we end up with 0 0.35 kg then this multiplied by the uh, gravity which will be basically 0 0.35 kg multiplied by 10 newton per kg then what you notice in this case is this kg and this kg cancels then you're going to end up with uh, basically 3.5 newtons as uh, the weight we look at question e, B. The learner measured the weight of an object on top of Mount Everest and also down the same mountain using a spleen balance. What was his observation about the two weights? So basically, uh, the weight on the top of the mountain, which is Mount Everest, will be lower than that recorded down the mountain. So this is because as you go higher away from the earth, the gravitation force pull reduces. So as you go up from uh, the sea level, the gravitation force uh, reduces. As you go down, the gravitation force increases. So the observation is the weight of the object will be lower at the top of Mount Everest when compared with the weight at down the mountain. Then give the reason for uh, the learner's observation. So this is uh, because the gravitational pull reduces as you move up away from the sea level or earth. That's why you discover that um, on the moon there is almost no gravity. That's uh, the case. So again you notice that acceleration due to gravity also decreases with increase in altitude. It's the same as the gravity. Gravity also reduces with increase in altitude. So this influences the weight. So the weight would be uh, less on top of the mountain. So basically this is how you answer this question to get uh, the four marks. So please Join me as I look at question B3 in the next episode.